water is one of our precious resources but our water supplies are limited if we take the world's water 97.5% of it is salty which means only 2.5% of the total water is fresh but in that over 2/3 of the fresh water is locked in polar caps and glaciers as ice this means that we have only 0.5% in lakes rivers and dams for agricultural industrial and per- personal use due to pollution the quality of water throughout the world is under serious threat the world health organization says only 0.007% of the world's total fresh water right now is potable which means this water crisis caused by the enormous amount of pollution is leading to 1 billion people in the world not having access to clear drinking water at all especially in the underdeveloped and developing regions of the world such as africa south asia and latin america are most affected but when there is a problem there is always a solution our team has come up with a unique solution of smart water to monitor, monitor this water pollution crisis water is every human's right in order to prevent pollution throughout the world we have developed an innovative solution to provide real time monitoring of water bodies using an autonomous boat and cloud services but wait how do we do it for example authorities monitoring drinking water are notified of the dissolved oxygen variation in their resources continuously at different locations over time with which timely decisions can be taken this saves time money and energy spent by the authorities in monitoring the resources we also provide analytic services to aid in their decision making how do we provide the water quality data and insights to them through dedicated cloud web and mobile application platforms this is our innovation the smart water water resource development board is a bo- is the organization which is supposed to monitor all the water bodies across coimbatore and protect it from pollution meet mr sharma is an employee there right now and his job is to protect the water bodies from pollution but in order for that he needed to know how much how what the quality of the water was so he always sent his employees to the different water bodies across coimbatore and they collected water samples from each water body and sent it to the twad board lab and in that lab they did manual methods of testing they got data from the sample and they analyzed it for a week and then they created a report and that report was sent to the wrd department through a post which took another week so it took average of 3 weeks for mr sharma to know the different condition of different water bodies across coimbatore but what our proof of concept did was it helped mr sharma in a very great way it connected all the water bodies to the cloud and the data when was sent to the cloud in real time and we generated detailed concentration maps of the different water bodies and it was very useful for mr sharma because he could know the condition of the water bodies in a detailed accurate yet in a cheaper way this is our vision the smart water within 72 days of the cisco ida semi finals event we have managed to create our system and improvise it in a step by step manner and we created four significant versions of it and this is the overview and the very first version of the tars was the was just included the navigation part of it and in order to bring the cost down we used plastic throwaway materials and this boat is wireless controlled by the phone's accelerometer connected to the tars via the bluetooth module uh this is one of the water bodies in our college and this boat proved to be very effective in the very first time itself and you can see the simple circuitry which we used we used an microcontroller powered by two 9 volt batteries with a bluetooth module and this is the tars version 1.0s navigation working forward left right and back so we eventually started improvising and came up with the tars version 2.0 integrated with this are the two sensors which we got through cisco's funding the ph sensor and the temperature sensor this boat what it did was it took the temperature and ph data from the water body sent it to the cloud via the gprs module connected with it so in this module was a great leap because we started visualizing how the data will be in an actual water body then we we had the very big leap of making the tarsan vars version 3.0 to test it in actual water bodies it is a much bigger stable and a dynamic boat with a very innovative it is very simple design which we used and this boat has given us a lot of data and 
by this time we managed to integrate the gps module with the boat and we started getting our sensor data geotagged so this was one of a significant leaps in the one of, in the last phase of the project and the stars version 3.0 was tested in many water bodies and we managed to collect data and we got insights out of them even before we made the data analytics algorithms and we can see the port is working very good and uh, we started making improvements in the other aspects of our project by this time and everything put together resulted in a very stable and a very accurate system that was stars version 4.0 the next one in this boat we have made self we had we have even made the propellers on our own so this was the day when we actually completed tars version 4.1 put it to field testing in this time we actually ran the boat to through the entire 50 cross 25 meters swimming pool and what you see now is the fast forward of the entire pilot and as you can see the tars version 4.0 sent the geo tag data to the ubidots cloud as well as backed it up in a memory card and what we ended up getting was a very beautiful detailed map of the chloropath map of the swimming pool with the both sensors we used uh, temperature and ph and, and this pilot took very long and we ended up getting the entire swimming pools data in a very dense manner with in this area we managed to collect 1244 data sets out of which we creamed as you can see now so this is the cream data set on the left and the on the boats data log is logged under the name temp.txt and this is the file the first column refers to the temperature the second the ph third and fourth are the latitudes and longitudes of the gps coordinates and now you can see i am changing the i am changing the column number to 1 to get the temperature chloropath i am changing the range to 30 to 32 degree centigrade as we did it on a very sunny day to get a very detailed map showing even the minute even the slightest of variation we have integrated google earth to matlab interface and now it's locating the amrita swimming pool in the google earth and now you have you are now seeing the very high detailed temperature chloropath of a swimming pool We, the best part is this much detailed map has been done at a very low cost by using a single sensor set now i am trying to change, get the chloro ph chloropath map with range 1 to 14 and as we can see now the ph map generated gives us an insight that the swimming pool is well maintained at ph 8.5 average this was because chlorine was added to it right before we started our test and now you can see i am bringing down the range so as to show the precision of our system if i narrow down the range between the uh, our mean value we can see the minute even the slightest of variation in the swimming pool which will be evident right now so i am generating a new chloropath map and this variation is between just two whole numbers of ph and we have changed the we have used abstract colors so as to give a very detailed uh, view of the even the slightest of change